Hello everyone, I am back and I'm going to show you guys how I heat seal the ends of my ribbons. Because um, if you look at the ends, um, you can see that it's a little bit frayed there. Um, so my favorite method is just a regular lighter. And then I just run it closely by. And if you see, it's gone. And I do apologize if the quality of this movie is not very good. I am just trying to work with different methods. Um, and I know that I have several people that have requested um, that I do t different tutorials. Um, so I'm just trying different methods and trying to see what works really well. Now another method that works really well, um, and it's a little bit easier than doing it this way, is if you just light a candle. Um, usually with me, I don't have a candle going like anywhere that's convenient um, because of the kids. Um, but if you have a candle going, you just have the open flame and then you just kind of run it through the same way. You know, it's just quick and easy. And then believe it or not, um, with this lighter, and I didn't mention this in my, um, when I was buying, or talking about my tools and supplies, um, from earlier, um, is I get this in a three pack at the Dollar Tree, and I think that that is really awesome, <laughs> because it lasts me a long time, and if something were to happen to it, you know, it is very, very inexpensive, cheap, because one thing that I've has happened to me with the, any kind of lighter is I get going with um, heat sealing the ends and then the spring pops out on me because it got too hot. So something to watch for if you use it this way. Um, but again, I just run it through. Um, sealed. I know it's kind of cut uneven, but I just cut it real quick to show you guys. But that's how you heat seal the ends. Hopefully this video wasn't um, awkward or anything. Um, I have to take a look at it when I'm done here. But until the next video, bye-bye.